It is all or nothing for the Philadelphia Union today as they play host to Sporting Kansas City at PPL Park. Of, of course, Connor Casey on the central player. Danny Cruz will play on the right-hand side. And Antoine Hopinot with that pace will come from the left-hand side. Thorpe scoring against DC United. Peterson comes in on the right-hand side and Sonny Saad on the left. Plenty of pace and plenty of players for us on the bench rather can come in and do some damage. Do or die for Philadelphia, never mind the help that they need. It's going to be a wild weekend in MLS, and it's underway. In front of a big crowd at PPL Park, Sporting Kansas City still with aspirations of taking the supporter shield as immediately you see the wind affecting the ball there. So the game, getting Graham Soucy, seen very little of him into the match. Ball looking over the top for Dwyer, controls off the chest, Park the defender, Dom Dwyer gets a shot away, and it is missed by Mutch McMath at full stretch, and it's out wide. Good effort. What a good effort. A player that's hardly seen five touches of the ball. Sharp, quick. It just sits up nicely on the half volley and he hits it square on, just about a yard wide. Good effort. Again, Colin has come forward here. These are the only man staying at home. Zussi drives it in, takes a bounce, falls to Dicka Peterson, whose shot is easily saved by McMahon. What a chance, the best team in MLS, away performances, and how about that? You're not going to get a better chance than that to go ahead in this game. Jacob Peterson just talked about him not being involved too much, maybe that's why he doesn't get good contact. He's seven yards out, a free effort, poor, poor finish. Opening minutes, either side of the halftime break, Beasler's long throw gets flicked on, Graham Zussi has scored! 90 seconds into that second half. Sporting Kansas City, a goal to keep pressure on New York, and a goal to put Philadelphia one foot out the door of the playoffs. Uh, Graham Suits had such a quiet first half. Another set piece flicked onto the back post there. Not enough attention at the back. All the attention's right here in the center. There's a bunch of players there going for the ball. A little bit of ball watching at the back post there. Graham Seuss is not ball watching. There's a little bit of movement. He comes away from the pack and a goalkeeper can't keep that one out. And there's that good record gone for the Union straight after halftime. Well, we know Zussi for his assisting. That is his sixth goal of the year. All right, able to control on part. Now Zussi running in there. Two on one. Kansas City. Sods to his left. Soon he's got a chance to seal it. Punched away early back. Good goalkeeping, good position, he's way off his line, narrows the angle down. This is going to happen for the Union, they've got to throw people forward, it's going to happen. But look at the goalkeeper, he's on his toes there, he's in a great spot, he knows where his post is. Good goalkeeping. Danny Cruz off, Sebastian Latou is on, they've got all three of their attacking stars on the field, Philadelphia, they've got 20 minutes to score twice and win this game to keep their season alive. Field atmosphere. Your sense of how dangerous they could be in the playoffs. Fabinho now running forward, advantage play behind the play. Fabinho looking for options, crossing it all the way to the back side. Latou just missed. Now the fans jumping behind me, thinking this is going to go in the back of the net. For him, it's a good chance. It's not an easy one for any player, but he's a good goal scorer. And he realizes there that it's right perfect for him on the volley. He isn't far wide, but can he just control that, keep it down? Williams, long throw, takes a deflection back, and Ernie couldn't get full contact. It's headed away from the line and cleared out. Mass sends it back upfield. Here's wins the header. Fabinho just throwing his body at the ball. Oh, it clears. a long throw again from Union McInerney. To be fair, he's under a little bit of pressure there as it comes on the half volley. He doesn't get the ball clean. McInerney trying to control it. McInerney not quite the ball he wanted. Olin heads away. The two knocking it back into the chaos. Beasler off his thigh. Park heads it forward.
Philadelphia find a way through. So many balls have been headed out, not this time. It finds a way through. McInerney nice and composed here, takes his time, doesn't lash at the ball, realizes in these split seconds how important it is for him to hit the target. There's the crucial part. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the fast, last few minutes. Zussi lost it immediately off the kickoff, able to win it back. It's the first goal conceded in four matches by Kansas City. Ducey, lovely flick to find Bunbury. Peterson running with them. Zussi as well. It's two on one if they move. Teal Bunbury is Peterson to his right. Wide open. Peterson to seal it. Save the back. Peterson chasing the punt by Nielsen, he's going to get there, now he's got Gardner wide open in the middle, or will he sit on the ball in the corner of the cross instead, takes a deflection, Bunbury has all of wide open, Lawrence all of it scored! His first ever MLS goal has shut the door on Philadelphia in stoppage time! What oh, crazy scenes down here. Peter Vermees with his staff, with the substitutes, with the whole squad, really celebrating that. Here we go, all over the place really, Philadelphia Union, so interested in going forward and trying to attack, they've just lost their composure at the back here, and of course we know about these front players. What a nice finish into the bottom of the goal there, wasn't it? From a player, Lawrence Alum has done a very good job in front of that back four protecting, and that should be just about it. The man of the hour clears it away. Another one bites the dust. Philadelphia eliminated for playoff contention. Kansas City in the driver's seat for the supporter's shield. It's on New York now tomorrow. Lawrence Olam, a goal and an assist.